You are listening to Instant Microwave Fuzz. Recorded at the Fuzzbox Maui. The finest recording facility on the beautiful island of Maui. To learn more about our mission to encourage, inspire, and empower individuals in developing their creative vision by providing an environment to cultivate their skills and talents, go to fuzzboxproductions.com. And to learn more about Instant Microwave Fuzz and see and hear previous works from us, you can check us out on Instagram at IMF Maui or search for us on your favorite platforms like YouTube, Facebook, and others at Instant Microwave Fuzz. And now, on with the show! I remember in my day, a rocket pack cost only $3,000. We would go zipping around. We'd, we'd go to one of the, the tar pits filled with nuclear waste. We would look at it from our spaceship, and we would say, Wow, Mother, that's really something. Speaking of Gerald, I remember back when... When I was little, you could just hire a private spaceship to take you out to the moon for a Saturday. All it cost was $16 million, which by today's standard, I don't even know. Now I'm stuck here on Earth, this rock. It's a real shame. My Harold and I, we lived at the bottom of the English Channel for 47 years. It was pure bliss. Now the children have just filled it all with their old rocket ship waste. It's not even a home anymore. In my day, I was just a underprivileged youth and I was able to get shot into orbit and go into a space orphanage where we were able to learn different scientific principles that I think would have a big impact on us old timers. When I was younger, the, the particle physics program was my, my favorite, and I applied the string theory and the string cheese and, and some, uh, some sort of old sneaker that I found, uh, and I, I think I've mastered time travel. If you old cronies want to come with me, Maybe we can have uh, one last trip. You guys, I think Martin wants a string cheese again. How you guys doing? You guys, uh, you guys enjoying your retirement? Martin, you don't know how good it is. Get out of here! I can't even look at your young mug. Don't get your Alzheimer's on me. It's okay. I just wanted to know if you guys wanted some tr- string cheese. We got this nice flavor. It's called popcorn obstacle. I've never tried Give tried me that. Squirts. That sounds good. Back in my day, popcorn was popcorn and string cheese was string cheese. Now everything's getting all mixed up. Well, you guys finished knitting your sweaters. I'll bring that string cheese popsicle obstacle popcorn sopical. Back in my day, if you stab someone with a knitting needle, they would die. And now nobody dies anymore. They all live to 350 years, and blood wounds don't even matter. These kids don't know how good they have it, they, Gladys. They don't know what it's like to die. I remember when I was growing up on an asteroid, it was, it was different. People had respect. They knew who was a time traveler and who wasn't. They knew people that were supposed to be in this dimension and those that weren't. I tell you, people should stay in their own dimension. Now it's all mixed up. Everybody, young kids being mixed with old kids that are all kids mixed up together. And I remember when somebody would give birth to a baby out their vagina. But now it's all test tubes, babies. I'll tell you what. 
It was the day that those goddamn greenback Martians came in. Mm-hmm. That's when it all went to piss. That's right. I remember that. that those was... goddamn greenbacks. Don't get me started on them. Mm, oh, nasties. makes me think of my Harold. I loved his shade of green. <laughs> the green ones weren't the problem. It was the red ones. No, no, no. It was the orange ones. Alpha Centauri sent their reddest and their worst. It didn't ever make any sense to me. We were subsidizing them. Those... And we bailed their asses out in the Battle of the Moon of Io. Is anybody going to talk about the vile species of the androids? The way they booped and beeped their way right into our homes? My concubine is an android. I take offense to that. I never really had a big deal with the old sex bot propaganda, but I do have to say that those slanty-nosed motherfuckers are the worst. Not in my day. I will never work with one of those orange skin popsicles again. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, when things would get too hot, my Harold and I, we would just hop to another time zone. And let me tell you, back in those days, you could only travel up to five centuries at a time, and you had to wear those special suits. You remember that? These kids today, they can just jump eons in a second. They don't even know how good they have it. It was so much simpler than when space would fold on itself just three or four times. And not 64 times. Remember when you'd make it to the other side and your right boob would be mixed up with your left boob? Oh, I remember. I hated when that happened. I still don't think they're back to normal. How you guys doing? I have your string cheese. Martin, get out of here! Uh, oh. The 688th Annual Academy Awards. Brought to you by Swanson's Death Powder. Do you want to kill? Do you want to kill invaders from another galaxy? Invite them in for dinner. And now, presenting the award for Best Special Effects, Catherine DeLune and Jacob Collio. Catherine? Yes, Jacob. Do you realize that he has been high as a kite all day? He <laughs> that was recorded actually from 364. The budget's so low right now that he doesn't know that we're hosting the red carpet. <laughs> it's so great. Let's bring him back in. Uh can can we get that guy back in? Hey, uh host guy? Yes. Jimmy, um, right? can, do you want to did you want to try that again or did you want to how because many we're takes not do at, you need? No, we're outside. Uh, oh, they're the live one? Yeah, we're the live feed. Hold on. Amazing. This fucking amazing. guy. Um, you amazing. You gave me the wrong script. I'm sorry. Uh, do the Swansons again. All right, here we go. Swansons death powder. Go ahead. Go. The 668th Academy Awards Red Carpet brought to you by Swansons death powder. Do you want to poison your enemies? Are they from another dimension? Swanson's got you covered. Thank you so much. That was epic. That was really something special. Yeah. And <laughs> For sure. I'm excited today. You know what? I don't think I've been more excited, Jacob. This- what did you call me? <laughs> Excuse- oh, sorry. <laughs> Johnson? You- yeah. I go by Johnson now. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't know if you realize this. Um, I've been building up my immunity to the Swanson's death powder, and I think I did a little too much before this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Here she comes! Here she comes! Oh. Uh, this is the I think she's in the category for movies written in one day. Yes, she is These a things- nominee this evening, making history. We have as the youngest single day filmmaker of all time. She's the thirty second woman female director who starred in the movie for the 32nd time and wrote the movie in a day. Here she comes. Here she comes. Unbelievable. Her name, Janina Maloon. Janina. Janina. Oh, Miss Maloon. Hello. Oh, thank you for having me. Who are you? It's oh, oh, me, it. Janina. Who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? So first of all, since the apocalypse happened, I've had a hard time sourcing materials for my mm. attire. Mm. 
to dress my body. So I've had to resort to creative solutions. So since I have so many dead bodies lying around, and we know how the millennials like to pierce themselves. She's stumbling. I'm wearing all chain link head to floor made of the nose rings and earrings of my enemies. Unbelievable. Wow. Amazing. Um, Amazing. I have a question. May I? Oh, please. Okay. Um, in case you don't win, the odds aren't in your favor. Who would you like to thank in case you don't get that opportunity? If I don't win, there will be a long list of people I will murder with this Designer hatchet, including you, (laughs) sir. I would also like to note that my shoes are Vera Kabang, and they're made of active bombs. So if I don't win, we're all going up in flames tonight. Thank (laughs) you both. Have a wonderful night. She is a talent. She sure is. She's amazing. I can see the future dresses, let me tell you. Where do they get them? Where do they get them? What a um, treat. Did you, were you able to work out that last relationship is everything good because you know you sent me a couple late night texts just as a friend it's a little yeah you know I'm are you little, okay i'm a little nervous about seeing them here actually you know oh my god is <laughs> it, he right is he coming right now uh, well is he is he here is he i hear he's coming on the arm of of uh, someone who was nominated this this evening, uh-huh. um, I might just have you take over. If, if okay, well here he comes. Here up. he comes. Oh, here oh, he comes. Sh- okay. All right. So it looks like he's dressed and ready to mm. go. A <clears throat> little bow tie, a little shorts. What's uh? I picked out that bow tie. You picked that bow tie. Out. Okay. <clears throat> Eric Handover. Here he is, the star of the newest. Blockbuster you may address Marvel. him as Mr. Eric. Excuse That's me, who all. are you? Excuse me, who are you? I am his his Hond- counterpart in life. I am his everything, and you may address him as Mr. Eric. That is all. I'm also his publicist and his PR agent. I don't talk to Handy Laos. I'm Eric. Okay. Eric, hand over. I, I act. Good to see you, Eric. Are you, were you going to get it? Are you allowed in today? I, are they allowing you she in She speaks for me, but I'm wearing clothes. I made it from couch cushion and old Kleenex box. You're the star of this movie? I <laughs> took a deep dive into my own personal journey. Which would be... A hero's which... journey. And I also think I... I poopied myself. Okay. Um, no more questions you... from Mr. Eric, okay? His hair is styled with mongoose blood to answer your next question. Now we are leaving. Hand over, gone. <sighs> Jonathan, you okay? Are you okay? I just miss him so much. <laughs> are you okay? I'm going to pull it together. I just need to... Hold on. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay, now we have... <sighs> Okay, that was rough, um, and I'm not exactly sure in <laughs> the breath on whom over here. Um, <laughs> yes, now we have he's Francois. Known for that. I see Francois. Oh, you sure do. Francois. Delacroix. Argen- oh, Francois Delacroix, Argentina. That's correct. He is the nominee. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Francois. Yes. Oh, what an honor. I am so happy to be back here. You know, it's been so many years since I was invited to come here to the red, but it's kind of blood red carpet because of uh, <laughs> all of the violence that happened to uh, the, the opening ceremony, but it's so good to be back here. Those those are uh. tributes that we like to... Uh, Absolutely. Those are- those are ca- red carpet tributes. That's right. And we have designer galoshes. I don't know if you saw those red when you carpet, came in. The red carpet tributes sponsored by Swanson. Yes. See, sometimes, sometimes when people talk with an accent, I tend to get a little caught up in it. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to do that. You know, here in the apocalypse, there's only two companies left. It's Swanson and it's Heckler and Koch. You know, the mm-hmm. weapons and the food. And if, if you can't make a movie with weapons and food, then you're definitely you don't believe you don't belong here in Hollywood. Definitely, hell no, you don't. You look amazing. Um, quick question: the process. Oh well, this is all the skin of my enemies who stood in the way while I made this film. Oh. Uh, 
oftentimes raiders or pirates who are trying to take from me and mine or my cast and crew. Uh, you know, death comes to all, but if you fuck with me, it will come a lot fucking sooner. You understand, yes? This is your 82nd film. Yes. Fantastic. This is my first one without uh, full penetration, but uh, this was also my, I would say it's a labor of love a instead of choice. a labor of lust. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bold choice not to use penetration in this film. Uh, it's what you're known for. Um, were you nervous that it would not be well received? No, I knew there was the scene with the uh, stabbing with the uh, ice pick. Uh, to the crotch, uh, I knew that the the audience would be titillated and horrified. Please, by that. please, please, and we can, were. Can you give me a little <laughs> space? Was. Can you please give me a little space here? I'm sorry. Why, why are you getting so close? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I have the plague that's going around. Can you just back off a little bit? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, you maybe you should back off from me. <laughs> yeah, Things that are you know, here. I'm an award winning filmmaker. Who are you? Your fucking stuffed suit is who you the fuck are, huh? Uh, All right. We, All right. You, this know, is, you don't uh, have to insult his stuffing, okay? Yeah, you look you look <laughs> soft to me. You haven't been out in the outlands where we film these fucking movies like real men. And, I'm fucking soft. I'm fucking soft. And he's right. <laughs> he's fucking I mean, right. He's not wrong, and that's why you're nominated, and we're just I here fucking hate that you. Guy. I'll bet we're not worthy. Me. I'll bet neither of you have drunk your own urine while on the back of a camel or a horse trying to just make it across the desert so that you can film a love scene between two mutants. I'm, this is not right. I, I, one can only dream. This is why I'm going independent. Fuck you. Ladies and gentlemen, this this red carpet has been brought to you by Swells' Death Powder. That's right. Follow the hashtag uh, enemy hot couture. We we'll be right back. Fuck. Fuck that guy. Eric, I miss you. <laughs> Hand over. Fuck it. What if I could tell you that there's job openings across the country? Listen, don't click that skip this ad. CEOs across the country are open to hiring you for their position. What if I asked you, what if I could tell you, you could be the next Apple CEO, the next Walmart CEO, Amazon. They're all available. Keep watching below. Click it. Listen. Change your life. Applicant must be willing to take on all legal responsibility and backlash taken towards the company via a lawsuit or other legal endeavor. Call your doctor if you experience sadness, depression, or death. This is America. This is the internet. This is your time. You can be the next CEO of the biggest company, even if you're not qualified. Listen to my video. Buy my book. You can do it. God bless. We want to thank our patrons, Alan and Will. And thank you to everyone supporting us and checking us out at IMF Maui on Instagram and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe us anywhere you can. And leave a positive comment on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anything else. It really helps a lot. Here, have some water. You drink this. Go ahead. Stay have hydrated. Water. Have some water. Thank you. And now on with the show. Oh, that helped. You're welcome. In the year 2022, a youth group, praying incredibly hard, accidentally opened up a portal to a time before time. Now, they have to figure out what's real and what's not. What they've been taught 
and what's not real. It's the new adventures of the First Church of Flat Earth. Okay, y'all. That was a good morning Bible study. I think uh, I think today might be the day that we can prove that this ancient prehistoric world full of uh, monsters that are unlike any from our world, um, maybe uh, maybe we'll prove it's flat. What do y'all think? I Amen. think it's uh, I think it sounds good. You know what Matthew nineteen twenty six says says, but Jesus looked on them and said, with man, this is impossible. Exactly. But with God, all things are possible. And doesn't that just prove, Amen. that proves that it ain't the book that's lying, it's our lying eyes, because the earth is only 6,000 years old, it's flat. Mm-hmm. Amen. And these dinosaurs ain't nothing but a figment. I'm, I'm telling you, we are going to stumble across a human any day now that's riding on one of these on the Excuse saddle. me, just for a second. Uh, I'm writing all this down. Can you slow down just a minute? What did you just call that? Did you say a dinosaur? What did you say there? Listen. I'm writing this down. They, I, I know you're upset that I call them dinosaurs. They're, they're large lizards or whatever. We must be in some place, but I know you don't want it to be called a dinosaur, and I understand because Heavenly Father teaches. Praise him. Or at least someone told me that Heavenly Father teaches that dinosaurs never existed, and it's a lie from the pits of hell. How should I write, how should I write this down? In the, in, the, in the scrolls, in the journal scrolls. Just put Thunder Lizard. Okay, Thunder li- Okay, check. So just so I get this right, we were just in the Bible study room about two hours ago, and now we're in this cave and seeing, we're not going to call them dinosaurs, but some reptile-like creatures walking around. No, this is the devil trying to trick you. Oh, good. Oh, my it's gosh. Like yeah, because like, like we all remember, um, there's... Time travel can't exist because Hebrews thirteen eight says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> so exactly. how can time travel exist? It's Amen. like when the devil d- twenty minutes ago ate Roddy uh, in the form of that Tyrannosaurus Rex. That was not real. That was just a temptation to get you to believe to buy into this liberal nonsense. A hundred percent. It's from the liberal media. And we all know dinosaur bones are just paper mache from rich, fancy folk from the north. They ain't even got no real evidence. Those bones that they they got could have come from anything, you know? And Man. we're not scared because through God gives us strength. But um, I know I saw myself when we ended up here. Is everybody else okay with what's happening? I mean, I can't smell it anymore. I assumed that uh, you had washed off in the the lake over there where that that strange looking thing is staring at us. Yeah, I've been calling that Dino Lake. Can we call it like a uh, ostrich or some large bird lake? Large bird lake. Well, we will call, call it large bird lake, but I have to say I do miss home. How about in the name of Jesus we call it Jesus Lake? Jesus Lake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus it's more Lake. Mine. I know this is just but a test. He is just testing us. His his worshiping dearest fellas, fellowship. This is just a test. This just has to be a test. I, I'm not even certain if I have soiled myself or it, maybe this is just a Jesus is testing me. It's and okay, I know Deborah, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, I know we're it. saying it's the devil putting a hex on our eyes, but we all kind of remember reading that one passage in the Bible backwards, and then we got thrust to, through that time portal. <laughs> that might have been a And ended tenet. up here. We remember that, right? Like <laughs> the devil. It was in Latin. The I, I don't recall the Latin words in the scripture. Why did not? Why did the book get left behind? That's Re- all I want to know. Remember, we read the Latin passage of Ecclesiastes seven ten that says, "Say not, why were the former days better than these?" And it brought us here. I just uh, we're writing all this down. Uh, so we're getting mad dogged across the Jesus Lake. And it, what, why the hell are you writing it down? Because you told me before we got here that we're writing the new book. How it's are you the writing bi- it down? 
Yeah. No, we're. He told me that we're gonna write the we new book. We ain't even gotten what? to the the to the new uh, to the manuscript. Just stop it. So we got Thunder Lizard, uh, Mad we Dog, and to worry about fire. Thunder for now. Lizard, Mad Dog, and us from across Jesus Lake. Um, and and that's the guy. I, and then uh, yeah, we got some other passages, but we need to we need to clarify this. Guys, maybe God sent us on a mission, and this is where Jesus is. Maybe he's here somewhere. Maybe he's. I know he's here. He is always here. He is always with me. He is always with us. I don't know what you boys have been up to, but this is sounding real blasphemous. I'm I'm getting real nervous, y'all. And he's Jesus always be been me. here. Always has been. Always will be. In fact, it, it just occurred to me he was born probably. Well, no, because the Earth is only six. But if it's six thousand years old, this must be. Did we time travel six thousand years? I mean. Was Jesus? Jesus I, wasn't. Born. I don't think, I think this I'm is having 6, an aneurysm. 6,000 6, years. I think this I'm is, having an is, aneurysm, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, well, just remember, remember, Judah, what Colossians 1 8 says, and has made known to us your love in the Spirit. Remember that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lamb's the hounds from hell. I know it. Oh, my God. That just ripped Billy into pieces. Oh, my Billy. God. I know we're saying this was all oh a farce God. that the devil is putting oh over our God. eyes, but if 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 this this looks pretty real to me, due to Dia, this looks pretty real to me. Oh, Jesus. That was not Thank paper mache. You. I don't know what that was. Should we start? I know, I know we, we don't. The Bible's our sacred text, but we need to start a fire. I think we should just pray. Praying got us into this mess. Maybe Amen. praying can get us out. Amen. <laughs> because thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for <laughs> testing us. We thank you for the test that you have brought down upon us this day, testing us uh, with the devil's work, where we are and where we are going and where we have been and where you are. We know you are here with us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I know we feel Amen. lonely in the middle of this cold field in the middle of the night with this strange creatures around us. But let's all remember what Psalm 91 1 says. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadows of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. So who needs shelter Amen. when you have the... We, we need a shelter. Or who like needs now. shelter when you have the warm light of the love of the Lord? I need fire, too. I'm freezing out here. Jesus will provide us with a fire. Jesus will provide us with shelter. Amen. Next week, shit in one hand, pray in the other. See which fills up first. Uh. Yo, we done a lot of traveling today. Uh, that's right. Through space and time. The continuum. Space is folding on itself uh. exponentially. There's space wrinkles. We fold. We about to Change wrap it up. Mind. We about to create some paradoxes for you. Switching time. Traveling through space and time. Is that way? We all up in your mind. Each and every day. Covered in slime, space and time. Look at me, I change that mind. When I do it to that music, me, I'm just gonna pull it. Space and time. Move like bullets through that system in this shit. Fuck with this, I crack that shit like a fucking whip. Lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it. Time travel, time travel. I'm not late. Time is a construct. 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 This has been a production of Instant Microwave Fuzz. Recorded live at the Fuzz Box in Lahaina, Maui. Big thanks to the Fuzzbox and to our patrons. Check us out on Instagram at IMF Maui and subscribe on YouTube. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you think of the podcast anywhere you find the podcast. We'll see you next time.
next time.